They are telling me it's 500,000 naira to rent though. <laughs> and also, keep on to buy it. How much? This answer is 4.5 million. Some dresses come in um, length 45, some come in length 60. It's about like this. The person that is producing about like should be arrested and prosecuted. <laughs> hello everybody and welcome to my youtube channel again um i've done i'm just doing my wedding series like it's like a wedding series i'm just going to carry along everything wedding so backstory um i wanted a wedding gown it's i don't know the wedding gowns i saw i didn't like them and the ones i saw i felt they were just too much like the one i saw and i liked they are telling me it's 500,000 naira to rent though. <laughs> and that's okay, if I want to buy it, how much? This answer is 4.5 million. And I'm like, tell me something. Like 4.5 million naira to rent, to, to buy, but to rent is 500,000. And I'm wondering, it doesn't really make sense if you ask me, because 500,000 naira. I can equally just make a wedding gown. Yes, it might not be as perfect as what I saw there but at least if i make my wedding gown myself i'll be proud of myself that okay i made my wedding gown by myself yes it's going to it's still going to be very beautiful but it's not going to i don't know let me not just underrate myself i've never seen a wedding gown before i've never done this in my life so but i believe i'll be able to do something that i like for myself so um what next now so this video is just going to be i'm going to divide this video into so many parts because i don't want it to be very long so the first thing i'm going to show you now is um is um the materials i bought okay i always wanted a ball gown for my wedding dress but so many people just kept saying oh you're on the big side why do you want something also big i'm like that's what i like so i had to go to wedding shops while i was still looking for wedding gowns i was thinking i could get one i was actually watching out on the look of look out for okay would the ball gown actually be fine on me or not and i think ball gowns are okay on me i think ball gowns actually fit anybody and everybody so i'm going with the ball gown i don't know how this is going to turn out at the end of the day so what i plan to do is have a detachable ball gown so it's like a two-in-one dress i have an inner dress then the ball is going to be detachable i don't know how i'm going to pull that out but i believe i'll be able to do that it's not like i'm someone that sews i'm like one professional i'm i always call myself um a shakara fashion designer or shakara tilo that's what i call myself i saw when i want to sew and that is just it i'm not serious but i want to take it serious now because this is business that we're talking about like if i can sew my wedding gown myself and i get it very right I can imagine the type of business that i'll get if i take it serious people going to spend five hundred thousand on a wedding gown like if you give it to me <laughs> let's say like more than slightly more than half of the price of that 500k if you give it to me i can give you that so that's good business and everybody will be happy i'll be happy i made my profit and you too you'll be happy that you're getting your dream down so let's um start off with let me just introduce you to the material so these materials i'm going to be showing you it's not all the materials that i need for this wedding gown but i just want to start my wedding gown because time is not on my side anymore this is september 7th so i'll just do an introduction then as i buy more materials i would come here and show you the materials i bought but for now let the ball roll so first and foremost i had to calculate what i will need for um my wedding gown ah that big that paper is all here okay just give me a minute let me go get my paper so i'm back so before i started this my okay let me just let me just flip so you see what i have done like the calculations i had to do for this wedding gown like it was not plenty it was not small calculation i had to do plenty plenty calculations because I did not just want any story for the God's matter. Plenty calculations. We'll see how many she's just for wedding gown. Calculations, calculations, calculations. <laughs> okay, no, this one. This is this is it. this is where it stops. Or oh, this is where it stops for really. So these are all the calculations I did. So these calculations, let me give you a breakdown. These calculations had to do with okay, I wanted to calculate um whether it was cheaper for me to actually sew this thing myself or whether I should just rent it. So I had to calculate the materials I needed and all of that. Okay, and as I calculated it, 
see yeah, there are two things to this thing i wanted to use the lace because i want my ball gown to be all lace but by the time i calculated it hmm. by the time i calculated all that i needed first and foremost lace there's so many things you have to put into consideration when you want to sew your wedding gown when you want to even sew a dress basically some dresses come in um length 45 some come in length 60. so you can imagine if you're sewing something that is um if you're sewing something and you have the one of length 45 you might use like six yards but if you have length 60 you might end up using like four yards thereabouts and that's like your cutting cost so you have to put all these things into consideration as well so um i had to calculate for lace i i started i wanted to use lace initially so i started off with lace and i calculated lace the lace i needed was 30 yards of lace <laughs> you can imagine 30 yards of lace is what i needed i know to get a very good lace a very proper good lace is like minimum i stay in abuja minimum 6k 7k a very good list so multiply 7k by 30 that is already 210,000. and this baby girl cannot be spending that kind of money on just this i know the, the thing with lace is that when you buy a lace you have to buy bridal satin for it to cover up the lace and then you now have to buy lining and buy another line before you start buying net and other things that comes with it so i thought of it that's 210 000. and this 30, 000, um, 30 yards is for just the detachable ball yes i want my ball to be very very full i know it's going to be heavy but i want it to be very very full that's how i want it because the way to get it i just had to multiply my waist by um 3.5 to get my round to get how full my ball will be so that's that's why it's taking 30 yards then the inner is like five yards so you can imagine 35 yards times less than seven thousand there we already have 210,000 by 7 by 30, that's 210, then must add this other one. So it was going into 200 and something thousand for just the list, minus other things. I just thought about it, I was like, no way, this is not going to work. So, um, um, and I had to calculate again with um, using bridal satin. It shows any material that has to go by, um, what do you call it now, by 60. I calculated it and i got um 20 yards you see how everything had to reduce from 30 yards and i reduced to 20 yards the 20 yards that i just said okay it's supposed to be 18 yards but i just let me do an excess of two yards because i don't want any situation of oh i was short of material and did not calculate well and then by the time you go back to the market again to check for it that particular you know this materials eh? i'm sorry it's, it's taking so long but i just have to explain something so that you understand you know this materials comes in bundle this bundle might not be the same thing with the next bundle so i didn't just want that whole problem of how oh, i go and determine that bundle is so that then by the time i check the shades are different even this one i even bought now so the shade is this is not the shade i want but this is what is available in the market so that has to just go with it then um i bought um 20 yards of it because i don't want stories for the gods so i'm just going to show you oh so i'm just going to show you the things i've bought so far because i don't want to just kick start my sewing now like there is no time and i still need i still need to beat this thing so when i went to the market i i let her settle for um italian mikado i think that's what they call it italian mikado silk this is it I don't know how i don't know how it will sit but what people use according to what they said though they said the common thing people use is duchess but the guy advised me to go with italia mikado that is better off the mistake i made is i did not actually check that duchess i would have felt the duchess and felt this one at, and check which one is better but i don't know so next time please if you're sewing your own please check varieties of material i don't know how i was blinded i'm going to be very sincere to you with my videos i don't know how i'll just be clouded i was like okay italian mikado italian mikado so i got this and the funny thing is i wanted white mikado when i went to get the white mikado see i don't know our brothers our able brothers are just messing things up for us you go to one shop and you tell this one is italian mikado you touch it it's different you go to another one again you touch and it's completely different so i just got confused which one is italian mikado and which one is fake italian mikado and it was just confusing so i just had to settle with someone that i know i've been buying materials from what i do is before i go to this person's shop to buy here is my customer i always go around first and check 
other qualities before I come to his shop. I know he's going to tell me what is good. So when I went there, what he had, he had white Mikado, but it was not complete 20 yards. I think it was just like seven yards. So, um, and I wanted white, but because I wasn't so sure of getting like, um the original or italian mechano on white he himself he actually went to check from his neighbors because he didn't get so i had to settle with off-white i'm not happy with this off-white but what can i do i just have to go with it so this is off-white this is 20 yards of italian mikado and it's by length 60. so i bought crinoline this, see, I still need to buy so many things, but I just want to start first. I bought crinoline. This crinoline is not going to be enough. You need, I'll need to. Crinoline is going to be used um, at the lower part. I want to double the crinoline for the lower part. I don't want to just do one piece like this. I want to double it. So that's why I will need to. If I was not doubling it, this one would be enough for me. Then I think this thing comes in 30 between 27 and 30 yards that is what this comes in then um what else did i buy i didn't really buy much because my dear today i went to market i was rushing then this is the lace i will be using see lace gave me problem lace gave me a huge serious problem like it was this is the back of this lace this is the front i don't know that you can see it this is the front lace gave me a serious problem and guess what i ended up buying this lace from abba <laughs> i ended up buying it from abba i my friend had to just because he was just hearing my complaints about laces my problem with laces is one laces in abuja are expensive no doubt about it then secondly again you now see find one that you like and then they'll be telling you fourteen thousand, fifteen thousand. And I'm like, even should cook my key me now. Which one is 14,000, 15,000, 8,000 naira? <laughs> it was not just making any sort of sense to me. Like, I didn't just like it. So, this is actually 10 yards of um, lace. And um, these 10 yards of lace, I'll use five for the gown, inner gown, and then use the other five yards to, which English, what is the word now I'll use, to do the ball gown so that at least the ball will not just be plain plain like that so this is going to be used on top of um, the ball gown more like it's going to sound like an applique but yes that's let me that's the word that i think i can use for it it's going to sound like an applique for it so other materials that i will need i've not bought them when i buy them i'll still come here and show you the video and net hard nets oh there's one net i bought where is it mm, okay hold on let me go and look for that net <laughs> yeah so i actually bought this net see eh? this net i don't know i bought this net i don't know whether i need this net or not <laughs> but i bought it so the one i need when i buy it shall show you people the net that i think i need but this net i don't think it will be a waste i think i'll just add it instead of cutting it and plating it and all that i'll just still use it like this. it comes by 60. this one is um how much did they even sell this? This is 2,000 naira a yard. And I think I bought three yards of this for, I bought three yards of this. Um, so um, this one, I'm just going to use it. I'm not going to cut it. I'll just like, I'm just, I'm going to show you all the process. I'm going to show you the process, how I'm sewing my wedding gown. And I'll just show you how I sewed my wedding gown. So what I'll, the other things I need to buy are nets. That's hard nets. I think I also want to buy two. But that depends on how my hard net comes out. If my hard net is not giving me the type of feeling I need, then I have to buy two. Then um, I also have to buy thread, definitely. No, I think I even have enough white threads at home. Then I have to buy beads. I have beads, but I think I'll still need more beads. Then what else do I need again? I think that's just basically all I need for my wedding gown. But if I buy it, I'll still let you all know. So now let's go into cutting. And then lining. I forgot to even say lining. Then another thing again, just to cut cost. Another thing again is I don't know whether I sold. I think I said it briefly. For this, for lace, if I'm supposed to use lace all through for my ball, I need to buy extra um what do you call it now bridal satin and still buy lining for this for this 
and two lining two sets of linings for it but with a plain material i would just use lining normal lining on that bridal satin goes for like 500 450 500 but mbj line please don't use about lining even for normal ankara dress i hate about lining See, the person that is producing about lining should be arrested and prosecuted <laughs> so please don't use about lining try and use mbj line so i'm going to use mbj line anytime i see this thing, just i don't know whether to get angry or not i would have i would have insisted on white but we move i don't want any regrets i don't want to start i don't want to start sewing with regrets i know it will come out fine at the end of the day because the difference is much <laughs> <laughs> but no regrets we move so this one now i don't need to buy mm what do you call it now bridal satin which is another money saved because as this one is 30 yards the this thing as the um italian mikado is 30 yards at the same 30 yards you need for bridal satin multiply 30 by 500 that's like fifteen thousand there but now I've gone, i'm going to cut off bridal satin i'll use a um, lining so 30 times 250 that's like 7500 at least 7500 that has been saved i can hit that 7500 and buy beads enough beads i can use in this work so i'll see you all in my next video when i start cutting like i'm doing how many videos this night i've done introduction to my wedding series i've done materials now for part of my materials so please check my wedding series it's going to be helpful to you all like it's going to really help you in your decision whether to sew or buy your wedding gown choosing of wedding gown i think i'll do another video for that one for people that don't know how to sew their wedding gowns I'll still, uh, maybe i'll do another video for that so i'll see you in the next video so now let's cut this material Yay! <laughs> i'm about to start i can't believe it i'm actually saying my wedding dress well let's start let's start welcome to the continuation of um, materials i bought i did a video so i just want to continue with the list of things i bought of recent so i bought um this two some people call it two some people call it soft net so i bought this i intend to use this for my um for my veil but i don't know i'm not feeling this texture of net at all so I might end up not using it, but for now, this is what I bought for my veil. Then the second thing I bought is this net. I don't know if I can see it. See how tiny this net is. This one is, they call it hard net. See how this net is. I know the other video I did, I showed you a net I bought. Like, see the difference between? Let me show you guys. See the difference between these two. So basically this one i'm going to use it for i'm going to use it like um um how will i put it now with the gown itself just to give it um some weight just to give the gown some weight so that it's not just be light like that and flying anywhere so this will just i'll put it in between the um, um mikado and my lining this will be between my mikado and my lining then this one is what i will use for to make the gown ball that's that's why i wear my petticoat then this one comes then before wearing my my skirt what i'm actually doing is um, a detachable ball gown so the ball gown will be detachable more like sewing your skirt your circle skirt that is what i want to do so i've never sewn before but this is what i intend to do so i bought this at the end of this video i think i will write the list of um the prizes the quantity I, that I bought for all the materials I bought. So I also bought lining. I had to buy one bundle. I wanted to buy one bundle of this net. It comes in 25 yards. But I just thought about it. It might be too much. So I just reduced hand a bit. Then I bought this one, one bundle, because I definitely need one bundle for this. So this comes in 25 yards. As I said, the price is... I'll have to check for the prices and put it up because I can't remember the prices of these things again. Then I bought crinoline again. I bought crinoline. I know my last video I showed you crinoline. So this is like I bought another crinoline, making it two. But I know this two is in excess. But I just wanted to just buy because I don't have a situation where I'll just be sewing and then I'll run short of. I don't want to run short of anything at all. I don't want I don't want, once I start, I want to start and then sew and continue. 
I hate that stopping and starting. So I didn't know that this crinoline actually two types. There's the light one and then there's the hard one. I think they said the light one goes for one five, while this one goes for three thousand. Funny enough, when I bought this one, it was two five. When I now went again to buy this one, it was three thousand. So you see, eh, you just make plans. And I think I go to the market, everything has just changed. The prices will just keep fluctuating like that. I don't know. Then um, I bought thread. This thread will not be enough might not be enough but i have plenty of white trends at home so um what is left now is um my beads when i talk about beads i mean my pearls crystal um um what else again i think that's all my needle for beading and all of that i think that's all the materials i will need for this is my wedding gown i've shown you my list already so if there's any other thing i would buy i'll let you all know um i think that's all that's basically all oh, the prices will come later i don't know but let me just start sewing this day is 13 september my wedding is 22nd october and i have not even caught anything <laughs> how is that possible how will i make you work i've not sewn my pre-wedding my pre-wedding um, outfit i've not sewn my um bridal what do they call that again coats the one you wear before for pictures before you wear your wedding gown. I've not seen that one. I've not seen my second outfit, but my second outfit, I intend to even give that one out if I don't want to hala. Because the style I want will really take my time. As in, it needs serious concentration. I don't think I have that time for anything that will give me serious concentration now. So I think that's basically all now. Another thing again that is kind of trying to spoil things for me is Big Brother. As I'm shooting this video, I'm actually watching Big Brother. So tell me how my military wants to move to the next site. But right now, let's shoot. Let's let's carry on. Let me take you along as um I cut. I want to cut today. God willing. Cut today and run the the um what do you call it? This with um the main fabric. This screen only really made front because that's what I intend to achieve today. God be my strength, but my body is pinning me. I started gym because I need to slay on that day, so my whole body is paining me. So I don't know how this is going to play out, but baby girl has to look pink, 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 pink on her wedding day. So I'll see you all. Let's cut, let's go into cutting the video or cutting the materials. I'll see you. Bye.